Hi, Andrea. How are you this morning? I'm good, thank you. So I understand you've been having some abdominal pain. Yes. Okay. Can you show me where? It's all in here. All in there. Okay. Um, have you been having any problem going to the bathroom? Any pain when you urinate? No, not really. No. How about constipation or diarrhea? Occasional diarrhea, but nothing much. Nothing much. Okay. Um, do you still have your appendix? No, it was removed eight years ago. Eight years ago. Okay, fine. Um, any unusual vaginal discharge? None that I've noticed. Okay, great. Um, what we're probably going to want to do is a, an internal exam just to sort of check on, make sure that everything's okay. So um, I'll have you get changed. Would you mind stepping outside and waiting? Outside? Sure. Yeah, okay. So I'll have you wait outside and then we'll have you get changed. I'll get you a gown and a. No. Okay. The reason that I asked him to leave is that um, sometimes my patients feel more comfortable if we can talk alone. And I know it's comforting to have him here too. Um, I, uh, I often see patients that are having difficulty in their relationships, um, that their partner is abusive or hitting them or hurting them in some way. And I see so many people that are in this situation that I've started asking all of my patients if this is part of their relationship. Is this part of your relationship? Actually, it's just the opposite of my boyfriend. He's very doting upon me, and he even gets jealous when we're not together a lot. He's never hit me. Okay. When you say jealous, what do you mean? Well, he's always asking me where I was, who I was with, what were we doing, how long were we doing it for. He's followed me a few times when I left the house, but only because he wants to make sure I'm not cheating on him because he cares about me. And he calls me a lot at work just to let me know that he loves me and wonder what I'm up to. I guess it's cute. Does it bother you that he doesn't seem to trust you? Well, it's not that he doesn't trust me. He doesn't trust other men. He doesn't want to lose me. And I know he's very attracted to me because he wants to have sex a lot. When you say a lot, more often than you do? Well, it's kind of embarrassing to talk about, but I guess it's usually more often than I want to have sex. But I usually just, you know, do what makes him happy because he makes me feel guilty and I know it's probably something wrong with me and not his fault. When you say it makes you feel guilty, why do you feel guilty? Well, he tells me that there's something wrong with me and he also tells me that he might go elsewhere if I don't satisfy him. And I offer him oral sex, and but he just wants to have sex and it just hurts me a lot sometimes. I've had several urinary tract infections. Okay. First of all, you're not unusual at all. There's nothing wrong with you that you have a different level of interest in sex than he does. I see a lot of women in my practice who um, aren't as interested in sex as their partners are or aren't interested in having sex as often as their partners are. And it doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with them at all. And it certainly doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with you. It means that different people have different levels of interest in sex. But if he's interested in sex more often than you are and he's putting pressure on you to have it, that's a problem because mm -hmm. you shouldn't have to have sex when you're not interested. I'm concerned that um, you're feeling pressured to have sex when you don't want to. Well, I don't want him to cheat on me. He's already cheated on me once before and I don't okay. want to lose him. I love him. I understand that you care about him a lot and it's obvious from, you know, from the things you tell me and, and how you two behave together. Um, I'm concerned that he's cheated on you before. Does he wear a condom when you have sex? No, he says it ruins the experience. Okay, so do you have any concern about sexually transmitted diseases? Well, I guess I just never thought about them. Okay. What I'd like to do as part of the exam is a test for sexually transmitted diseases, and okay. I think you really need to consider <clears throat> make it being more um, impressing on him the need to wear a condom, especially if he's going to have okay. other partners. I'm also concerned that he's threatening to have sex elsewhere and putting pressure on you that way to have sex when you're not interested. Okay. Um, what about birth control? Oh, I've taken it on and off in the past. Okay. It's, it's expensive for me. Well, we can talk about some options in some places where you can get birth control at a reasonable price, and we can also talk about strategies for preventing a pregnancy if you think that's a concern. Okay. Okay. Um, have you ever talked to anyone else about the sort of problems in your relationship regarding sex? No, because, I mean, I want to be with him. I know it's, this is just the one problem we have, and it's kind of my fault, so I guess, no, I've never really talked to anybody else. Okay, differences between the two of you doesn't make it your fault. It just means there's differences in your level of interest. But there are people that you can talk to that might help you sort of think out your feelings on the subject and see if there's some strategies that you can come up with that would help you to make decisions for yourself 
and help you make decisions in your relationship. And I can put you in touch with some of the crisis counselors in the area. Um, would you be interested in that? Yeah. Okay. I can have someone meet you here in the office or we can have you meet at their office, whichever works out okay. best for you. But I want you to feel comfortable that this is something that you can talk with me about. Um, you know that you know it'll be perfectly confidential okay. and there's nothing at all unusual about you. And we can also talk about a prescription for birth control or okay. um, pregnancy prevention strategies, that sort of thing. Does that work for you? Yes. Okay. All right, great.